Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Have a seat, gather around. We got some new stuff to talk about. That's right. Hashtag new stuff in the comment section. Now I gotta, oh yeah, roll that intro. Let's do it. All right, sit down, gather around, grab your popcorn and your hot tamales. Man, I love hot tamales when I'm watching like movies and, and like TV. That's my favorite freaking candy for some reason. Anyways, I wanna talk to y'all about the Vankio Performance V630, all right? This is one of the, the higher tier projectors you're gonna get from Vankio. So they've got the V600, V620, and the V630, I believe. And a lot of people will automatically assume that the higher the number, the better the projector. Which, yes, in some cases, but it's really just dependent on what your video projection needs are. So let's take a look at this V630 right here and all the stuff you get included with it. This is a first, man. I've never seen this come with the projector. It at least one, none of these budget projectors. These are like Q-tips that you get to clean maybe your screen and some of the components that you can get to, like you could put it in, I don't know, a port or something like that. But it's nice to know that they're thinking of you that way. And they give you a microfiber cleaning cloth so you can clean that bulb off, or not the bulb, but at least the lens cover. So yeah, that's that's a nice touch. I've never seen this with any of the uh, projectors I've, I've done on this channel. And then you get your standard issue remote. And then you're gonna get an included HDMI cable, which is awesome. That means this is literally plug and go. You don't have to go to the store and buy an HDMI cable or go dig in your drawer and see if you got an extra one laying around. And this is a 3.5 millimeter input to, look at that, look at that, look at that. You got your audio video, you got your audio uh, right and left, and then you got your video right there. So you got this splitter, which is gonna help you connect in one of the legacy ways. And then you are going to have your three prong power plug. And you get four screws because this beauty right here can be ceiling mounted and you don't have to take these off. This is nice. Uh, a lot of the projectors uh, have these little screw holes covered up uh, with the uh, rubber feet right here. And then you have to take the rubber feet off and then what do you do with them? You lose them, right? Nope, Vankyo did it for you right there. You got three of or four of them. That way you can mount this bad boy upside down if you need to. And last but not least, as far as accessories, you get this carrying case. Yes, it does slide very, very nicely in the carrying case. So it's not a huge projector. It could still be considered portable. So if you want to use it for like an office presentation or something like that, yeah, just put this bad boy in the bag and carry it with your, uh, your other stuff to the office. And that way you'll be able to do your presentation Presentation. Got a little pocket right there for the remote and the other accessories, but that's about it for accessories. Now let's get to the start of the show. Let's take a look around the back of it, see some of this interface we got back here. Let's bring this camera in just a little bit. All right, there you go. There's your VGA port. You got a USB there and a USB here. This one looks like it's actually powered or uh, I don't know, I can't tell the difference. It looks like they're split one powered and one not maybe, I'm not sure. But then you got an IR sensor here, your AV port, and then you got a headphone jack, which would really just be for this plug right here. Then you got your power supply input right there. Now this whole panel right here is made of cloth. This is really nice. I've never seen this on a Van Keel projector either, where they've added this cloth accent to it. It does sound pretty good. It's not like, you know, like high quality or nothing like that, but it sounds pretty good. So if you're gonna put this outside and you're gonna be sitting relatively close to it, it, it would it would do all right. And then on the left side of it is if the lens is facing away from you, uh, you got your SD card input right there, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, then you got some fan stuff going on right there. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Got another grill. Since I brought up the fans, let's go ahead and talk about the fan noise. My setup has this thing sitting right above my head. So the fan noise is very important. I'm casting on a 120 inch screen. That means I need to be about 13 feet back and that is directly overhead of my couch. So the fan noise is slightly above what you would get with the V620, which is roughly like the, the quietest projector I've ever used as far as a budget projector. So this one is actually relatively quiet, definitely tolerable. It's not gonna disturb you too much. It actually has a, a more bassier tone than your V620, but it's definitely tolerable. This is something you can put overhead and feel comfortable watching your movies with, and you're not gonna be annoyed with the sound. For me, the fan is one of the most important factors, but I also really, really need to focus on the focus. Here's your focus ring right here. Just toggle it back and forth just like that. And then here's your 15 degree keystone. And you, yes, you get a lens cap for that 
big old fat lens that they put right there. Let me just show it to you right there. It's just a gigantic lens that's gonna put out about 6,500 lux. Now that's pretty bright. When you compare it to the uh, V620, you're gonna get mm, maybe five to 10% brighter, I guess you would say. I've compared it to, and yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely brighter than the 620 but uh, it's only about five to 10%, I would say. Contrast ratio is 5,000 to one, I believe, which is gonna give you a nice bright picture, which is very, very watchable, even in the daytime. You do not have to have the room completely black while you're playing this projector. It will look just fine. Now, when we go into deep, dark movies and stuff like that, like a Game of Thrones dark scene or something like that, yeah, it might get a little dark and hazy in there if, if you're watching it with ambient light on, but for something you know, like a, a sitcom or something like the office or something like that, or even a sports game, you can definitely watch this projector with the lights on. But when you turn the lights off, oh man, this thing really, really pops when it comes to watching movies and shows, even playing video games and watching sports. But it's my duty to tell you that when you're watching super fast action movies and video games and sports and stuff like that, the refresh rate can seem a little bit slow and choppy sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes, yeah. But for general purposes, I say this is a fantastic purchase of a projector. You're gonna get a huge, up to 300 inches. You can cast from 49 to 300 inches uh, with this thing. So that means you can take it outdoors and you know maybe hook up a speaker to it or something like that. And you can have your whole house like with your family movies on it or something like that. This thing is really awesome. At the price, you're getting a lot of value here. I definitely recommend this one right here. Either way, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff, but I do know how to sit on my butt, eat hot tamales and watch movies on a big old screen. And the V630 can help you get that done. I gotta go make some more videos, but before I do, make sure you give me those emoji hands in the comments section, and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?